barbershop conversation, guys, feel free to hit the subscribe button. So Kago Plant Uzakaki um, is this week. And um, I'm excited for this fight, man. I'm excited. I'm giving away tickets on Patreon. So if you haven't joined Patreon, I suggest you go ahead and join Patreon and leave me a message. And if, if you desire two tickets to the fight. And um, I'm, when I say I'm very interested in this fight, I'm very interested in this fight. And I have yet to see K.O. Plant step up. I believe in his talent. I love that meme that I don't know if it went viral, but it's a pretty dope. It's a pretty dope meme when uh, he, he shoots uh, Porky Medina with like four to six jabs in a row. And it got that uh, 20, was it 21 Savage song? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. And it, and it lines up. His jab lines up with that. I thought that shit was hilarious. And I've, I've had Kayla Plant on my radar for quite some time. And I'm real interested in his ne in uh, in to see how he produces. We all know he's dating Jordan, uh, uh, the beautiful woman that hosts PBC. Uh, she does all the interviews and stuff. We all know that, and we all know Caleb playing the smooth in the ring. Got some, got a swag to him. Got a presence to him. You know, I think he should change his name to White White Chocolate. Sweet Hands is kind of he needs to throw that shit away. I think White Chocolate. Caleb white chocolate plant nah that shit don't go but sweet hands I like I, I, I get where he's going with it I don't like it though but um, Floyd changed his name mid career so why I mean shit fighters should be able to change their name between fights <laughs> you know what I mean Halloween Havoc Heard is a hell of a name Jared Halloween Havoc Heard Woo! that would be the coldest name in boxing you know uh, shout out to Cornerman Radio for that name uh, who else was on that panel? Someone else was on that panel, too. I, I can't recall that about two months ago. Um, but as you guys are interested, I'm very much interested. I can't answer you guys' questions. I only can go off assumptions. I haven't seen Caleb. We haven't. No one has seen Caleb Plant in a step-up fight. We've seen Uzakaki beat Darrell twice. Uh, I watched twice in, in separate settings. Uh, I watched him fight against the, the kid that fought... Um, uh, Jamal Charlo. I watched that fight twice. I forget the guy's name. And Uzakaki lost to him, who was a phenomenal boxer, had a hell of an amateur career. Triple G didn't reach out to fight him. Um, so off of that premise, I would say every boxer in the world has problems with pure boxers. Right? Right? You know what I mean? I think boxers figure it out first and punchers figure it out second in terms of what to do in the ring. Now, implementation of what to do is a completely different thing, you know. Um, but I also want to say, too, is Vegas has Caleb Plant anywhere. You probably can get your bet anywhere between two, plus 230 and 260. Uh, I reached out today to see if I can put my bet in now. I'm going with Plant. I'm betting on Plant for this fight. Um, that's just what I feel. That's just what I believe. And, um, you know, whatever I get back is double, plus the 30% or 60%. So if I bet, so if I bet $100 and it's plus 230, so people who don't understand the betting line, I'll win 200. I, I give the, uh, the betting people, I give the book a hundred dollars, and when and if Caleb Plant wins, I get two hundred thirty dollars back. So I win a hundred plus one hundred thirty dollars. That's the bet. So no plus my bet back. So I get um, 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 plus my bet back. So I'll get back three thirty. You understand? So, uh, so that's typically how it goes. So um, I think Uzakaki. This is like a pre. This is. This is not my official breakdown of the fight, although I'm rolling with Plant. Um, but um, Uzakaki is a busy fighter, long, rangy, talented, flat-footed fighter. Uh, I've never seen him fight with angles. I've seen him fight with determination. I've seen him fight with volume. I've seen him fight with consistency. Uh, he's a determined man. Um, I believe wholeheartedly that you're going to have to take this belt from him. I don't believe you can break his spirit. I think you just got to simply outwork him. 
I, I, I think he'll, he has the ability of being frustrated just because he's a volume puncher. And if Caleb Plant can be slippery, he'll be slippery. I do believe his output will be low if Caleb Plant can establish that jab. And then, too, if Caleb Plant can't, any, can't land anything of substance, meaning that right hand on that left hook, or something like that. Hopefully his hands hold up. We know he just had surgery three months ago. Um, if his hands hold up, he'll be okay. Because fighting with hurt hands is the hard man. I don't know how Floyd did it. Well, he took cortisone. I'm not saying he did, but I'm saying fighters would take cortisone shots or some form, some heavy dosage of ibuprofen or pain, I say painkillers, whatever the uh, commission will allow, you know. They take that, but I'm fighting bruised knuckles right now. I don't know if you guys can see, but my knuckles are like completely, completely swollen and shit. So bruised knuckles, like I cut on my knuckles and shit. And that's just me just being a novice. You understand? <laughs> I can't imagine what these guys are going because I have the option. You know what I mean? Hey, I, maybe I'll just hit the double in bag today. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll just do the speed bag. You know what I mean? Or maybe I'll just do the... Uh, the the, the soft heavy bag that feels like a human being you know but these guys got to go put in a heavy bag every day and whew, it's painful so hopefully i said that to say hopefully caleb plant hands holds up you know and uh i hope his body holds up because this is a great showcase fight for him it's his first big fight and his first main event no no porky medina was a main event fight for him and uh it all leads down I I would say based off of accomplishments and based off what I've seen um, the other kid is number one he doesn't have a belt yet but he's number one at 168 the winner of Uzakaki the winner of Uzakaki and Kayla Plant might be 2A and 2B with uh, uh, the Ramirez kid I think Uzakaki and Ramirez I would get I would give a slight edge to Uzakaki because of his volume, but Caleb Plant's ability to defend himself can compress his uh, his volume, can decrease his volume. You know, so so those three are like in a phone booth together. You know what I mean? So so that's why this is an important fight. I obviously have the Benavidez kid at the top of the 168 pound division uh, based off what he did to Graville and uh, what he did to Porky Medina. You know, that combination he threw is, is, a, is a living meme to this day. So, But let me know what you guys think about this fight, man. I'm really interested in what you guys have to say. Boxing fans, you should be entertained, and this fight should be very important. I know it's competing against the NFL, and I, I don't watch the NFL, so I don't know what game will be the afternoon, the late afternoon game, but um, that's probably why this, this fight is on Fox, FS1. But... Um, whether you TiVo on it, whether you're going to the fight, or whether you're actually going to watch it live, I think it's an important fight for boxing. I think it's, I think it's one of these fights that's going to get slept on, similar to Laura Heard. You know, that fight wasn't a sellout. Uh, I would say it was about 70% filled, and only real boxing fans showed up, and the team showed up. You know what I mean? So it was like a real festive, easy, kind of laid-back environment at the Hard Rock. You know, and, and I think this Kayla plant Uzakaki fight will be similar to that. It's going to get slept on. People are more engaged into... And you have every right to be. Broner Pacquiao, you have every right to be more engaged or more in tune to that fight. But I think this fight is going to get slept on. Uh, Kayla Plant is his coming out party. And go back and watch my interviews with Caleb Plant. Um, he, he believes he's a superhero. He believes that you're going to have to kill him to get him out that ring. And uh, time will tell. We're less than a week away from this ginormous fight, humongous fight. Um, it sets the landscape for future endeavors at 168 and potentially light heavyweight. You know, light heavyweight is kind of getting light right now you know uh will Kayla Plant go down if he loses will Kayla Plant stay or go up you know he looks like he can make honestly Kayla Plant 
with under Larry Wade, who does an exceptional job with him, I think he can get down to like 160 with Larry Wade. I think he feels real comfortable at 168 because when you follow him on Instagram, he eats whatever he wants, you know, for a certain degree. You know, I mean, he may be he may be lying a little bit. I mean, I shouldn't say lie. It, it, it may be embellished. You know, it may be embellished a little bit. I know he's not eating all that shit, you know. But uh, if he is, kudos to him. And I, I heard I heard his interview on the Boxing Voice. And I don't know the gentleman's name. But uh, they asked him about his affiliation with Snack. And he didn't, he didn't announce that he was with Snack. He said he's training with his dad. He has a rap guy that's been rapping his hands since day one, and he's at, uh, and he's with Larry Wade. So, so with that being said, I don't, I'm uncertain, or I don't think he's with Snack. I know maybe he was with Snack in the past, and maybe they have a promotional agreement or something. But I don't know. I honestly don't know as it relates to him being with Snack. But I'm, I'm sure that would be a good question to ask this upcoming week, and we'll move forward from there. But he didn't seem like. It didn't seem like when you guys got to go to that interview on the Boxing Voice with he and Kayla Plant, so you guys can get a get a better, clear, more clear understanding of what the hell is going on. But uh, anyways, man, Kayla Plant Uzakaki, I got Kayla Plant winning. Uh, I'm 27, one and two. I've had two draws this year. I've had two draws and one loss last year. Excuse me. So uh, we starting off the new year. This is the next 50-50 fight. You guys tell me if you think Adrian Broner, Manny Pacquiao is a 50-50 fight. Does that, I mean, at least 70-30. Does that deserve a breakdown? If it does, let me know. Uh, if so, I'll break that fight down. But I think there's another 50-50 fight that's on that card, right? Badu Jack, Marcus Brown. That will be a hell of a fight to break down. So uh, I'm going to break that fight down and um, we'll move forward from there. So anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And uh, we off and running, man. You guys need to stay in tune with, with this channel. Make sure y'all hit the notification icon because I'm going to do a whole bunch of videos because I'll be traveling. And I'm always, I'm by myself. So I have nothing to do but do videos and upload because uh, after next week, I'm out of town every weekend. From I go to Vegas for Broner Pacquiao and then I go to New York for Thurman and uh, Josecito Lopez. So that should be fun. So anyways, man, I salute y'all. I appreciate y'all. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. So Barbershop Conversations. Feel free to subscribe. But Uzakaki, Kayla Plant, FS1, this upcoming Sunday, the 13th? 13th or 14th, next Sunday at 5 p.m., okay? 5 p.m. Hopefully that's after the NFL. <laughs> Hopefully. I don't know. I'm not sure if the NFL got a night game next week. But I pray that it's after the NFL and it's not competing with the NFL. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not. Hopefully it's not. So Barbershop Conversations. Feel free to subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys real soon. Peace.